Here's a look at the courthouse plaza. This is the first day when we've kind of peeked in on this weather bug camera view and seen no snow left on the courthouse plaza. That didn't take long to melt away once we started warming it up this week. The weekend ahead is looking really nice. Certainly warmer if you are headed to Prescott. 56 today, 56 tomorrow and 60 degrees by Sunday. A warm up across the state takes you to about 60 in Heber by Sunday as well. Camp Verde low 60s, upper 60s though by Sunday and Pine Top low 50s. Lighter winds the next couple of days. Some lingering breeziness today across the high country, but by the weekend ahead of us, those winds should be easing up. It'll be 39 today in Salt Lake for Phoenix 70 degrees, same in LA 66 in Vegas. Some of the best weather in the country. 15 for a high today in Chicago, 12 in Minneapolis, freezing for Pittsburgh and 42 for New York City. 60 today in Dallas, 50 for Atlanta and 79 for Miami. Now we do have a storm system and a cold front bringing some showers toward Florida, ah, but we got the Super Bowl in two days. So what we're looking at is that front pushing through late Saturday, early Sunday. Best chance of rain and thunderstorms from that system is going to be along with the windy weather Sunday morning. So by the time the big game starts, which is at 630 uh, that time uh, here, it's going to be, of course, two hours earlier, 68 degrees, 65 by halftime. Then by fourth quarter, they'll be in the low 60s. Light winds and that storm should be clearing out. Well, we've got clear skies this morning and that's not going to change over the weekend ahead. Highs today, 55 for Payson, mid 50s for Prescott as well and Sedona, upper 40s for Flagstaff, low 60s in Kingman. Tomorrow morning's lows look very similar to the mornings, which has been much colder than we've been recently. We're gonna have some chilly mornings, but some warm afternoons ahead. 73 for both your Saturday and Sunday in the valley, but we're gonna wake up to some low 40s. Lows start to come up the next couple of days, though, after that, and by early next week, we're back in those mid 70s.